So hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to add customized resolutions so you can run triple screen games or even render pretty much any game you want at the resolution you want without setting up any videos around or DSR or anything like that. So uh, yeah, the main idea for this, uh, I use simulators and I have screens that are different refresh rates and I can't get them to work well in some sims without some massive tweaking and even in race when i could never get it to work so after i found this tutorial i was able to just select the resolution and enable all the triple screen corrections and uh, perspective corrections not the bezel in notable blister one for example uh, because that would need to be done during surround with surround if any of you know a way to add bezel correction not the perspective uh, correction but actually uh, removing the bezels i would be very glad to know uh, if there is a software or a tweak that uh, we can do that but it's already so much better to be able to use mute view there so anyway uh if you like to read and you can uh, follow a good tutorial or uh, just follow the link in the description it's gonna be of this page uh, which is a guide basically showing everything that I'll show here except step 5 which I take a different approach so if you want to skip all the way through step 5 and read here uh, you're not gonna lose any kind of content at all so let's begin so first of all what does this consist of uh, it edits uh, the registry of Windows uh, in this path here uh, to basically trick uh, your graphics card um, to make it actually think that your monitors can run a resolution they can't run. And in my case, I mainly wanted uh, this resolution to be available to select, which is like three Full HD screens uh, side by side. Yeah, with one another. So, uh, so first of all, uh, you need to go into the registry editor. So you can do that by um, typing regedit after pressing uh, Windows R, which would be the shortcut to launch that. So if you follow this path, uh, you're gonna see this, and uh, you want to look for the folders that actually contain monitors. And how you're gonna identify that by looking. Uh, at the keys and seeing if it has uh, the smooth scaling data option. So if it has, as you can see, this doesn't, but this and this they do. So those are my three monitors. Uh, the first thing you want to do is export here. You can export this anywhere, just set up a structure of folders because every time that you update your draft graphics card drivers, you are gonna need to redo this procedure all over again because this basically erases all those keys and writes them back up by the driver uh, installation program. And uh, you're gonna need to redo this every time you update your drivers. So I just set it up this, this up in a folder so it's quick for me to do uh, once I want to do that again. So once you save those folders, uh, you're gonna see something like this. So I set it up on screens, I'm going to go in the first monitor, you open this up with your notepad or any kind of text editor you want. Uh, and you're going to look for this, uh, it's move scaling data. So uh, you're going to go to this website, it's all shown here, uh, but I'm also going to put the links on the description. Uh, you put the desired resolutions, click this button, it's going to give out this output. You copy and then go back to the notepad and just take smooth scaling data, select everything, remove, and then paste uh, whatever it's in there. Uh, as far as I know, you don't need to add the resolutions you already would have displayed normally. Uh, this is just like enabling more resolutions. Uh, it has a limit of 10 resolutions, but uh, I don't think you're ever going to need more than that. And there is a way to use even more that it's it's shown here how uh, you can add uh, even more than those 10 if you need that. But personally, I don't need more than one resolution extra added. Uh, but yeah, just press it here, save. I'm not going to save because of course I already have my file ready and everything working. And after you press save, uh, you're going to go back to the saver, to the save location. And you're going to double click so that uh, you allow and then press yes. Here it's going to say that it doesn't work. It probably you say the same thing if you 
don't have uh, the correct permission set in the registry folder case. Um, so they're going to go to permissions and add uh, total control or full access or I don't know whatever it's called in English, but it's going to be the first checkbox here. So you just press allow and apply and then redo that double click and it's not going to pop up that error message. After you finish everything, I highly suggest you disable those uh, total control permissions just to make sure uh, no software can actually uh, mess up with those configurations or some unadvised kid or whatever you might have so after you do that uh you save everything everything is important you're going to see that this key is slightly different uh just based on the values you put in uh after that uh you're going to launch this software uh devman view which is also in the description so what the software is uh i already had an uh open window uh it's basically a glorified uh device manager but it has some useful shortcuts that we want to use. So you're gonna go to your graphics card. Remember, this will only work in NVIDIA cards. Uh, if you have AMD cards, it may work, but I'm not sure uh, how the registry works uh, for those drivers. So you're gonna have to find basically the equivalent of um, whatever is telling you what monitors, uh, what resolutions your monitor support. So you're gonna click this, disable plus enable selected devices. You're gonna wait until all your screens are going to go dark and they're going to come back in like five or ten seconds after they come back uh the settings have been loaded into the graphics card and you are going to be able to select those uh resolutions in pretty much any software that you have uh like a uh, configuration screen so i think this has one so i'm just going to show that this works on literally any software so yeah this is adventure capitalist it's a like idle click game so you can see, like I have this custom resolution that I've added, so everything perfect. And I didn't add this resolution, so it shows that uh, it basically uh, can show pretty much any kind of... Uh, the resolutions that were already saved, they are going to show uh, regardless whether you put in that uh, hex generator uh, or not. So yeah, it shows like triple screens for all my displays, so you can see this. And even this resolution, which is, uh, yeah, it's absolutely crazy for this. Uh, I don't know why it has all those uh, DSR resolutions here for this monitor. Probably I had them loaded uh, correctly here, but doesn't matter. Um, what matters is like the you can just redo this with whatever display three is, which I don't know which one is on my screen. So yeah, so let's go. Uh, and the last part is uh, SRWE, which you actually can force those uh, resolutions in some games, like ACC, you can do that. You can just use SRWE and be done with it, but it requires like you launch the game, you are in the car and then you need to launch the software and then everything opens up. So this way you can just set it up once and forget if the game is not like this uh, R-Factor 1 based game, which this is black right now because it's showing pretty much what would be shown on the left screen. So to fix that, I go to the uh, SRWE, uh, which I already have the profiles you can see here. So you select the running application. Uh, so yeah, check the box, negative 920, which is offset the whole screen to the left, uh, one, one screen to the left and press set. After that, you can see like here, it's full screen working, centered um, as it should be. And then you can also save this profile and then just load it. So you can just, that's just gonna work uh, as soon as you click load. And yeah, yeah, that's how you just reposition your window. You can also do that following this part of the tutorial where it will pretty much change your whole desktop, but I don't want that. I want my desktop to stay as it is. So that's why I did uh, it this way. So. Yeah, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will, if I know, I'll be happy to to help uh, with the with a, a solution if uh, I know to the specific problem you have. But this should allow you to pretty much put any customized resolution you want without uh, that extra fiddling or and just doing it natively by your software. So I hope this helped. And, uh, goodbye.